So today we're going to go over uh, introduction to Google Docs. So the agenda for today is I'm going to go over what is Google Docs, where to get Google Docs, what is needed to access Google Docs, where are Google Docs stored, an overview of the Google Docs web portal, how to do edits within Google Docs, and I'm going to go over uh, certain features uh, such as the translate option and the voice typing option. And lastly, I'm going to go over like, like additional resources that you, know, you might use if you have uh, more questions about Google Docs or you want to learn more about Google Docs or any other kind of software programs. So what is Google Docs? Google Docs, it is kind of like a browser-based like word processing platform. Uh, it's part of the uh, Google's online office suite. So it's very similar to Microsoft Word. So if you've used Microsoft Word before, uh, it's going to look very similar. There's going to be some minor differences on like, certain features and how you would access the platform. And within uh, Google Docs, you could create, edit, and share a document with words and pictures, and you could insert all your own information in there as well, too. And since Google Docs it is kind of like a web-based uh, word processing pl platform, you would need to have a Google account. So if you already have like a Gmail account, or if you've used uh, Google Sheets before, or if you've used uh, YouTube before and you have an account, then you already have an account and you can use the Google Docs. But if you don't have an account yet, you can always sign up for like a free Gmail account. Or if you don't want to, you can always sign up for like a Google Docs account, but you use your existing email. Like if you have an email from Yahoo or Hotmail, you can use that to sign up for a Google account. And Google Docs, it is kind of like a store in the cloud in your account. So it kind of shares storage space with your uh, other Google products, such as Gmail, Photos, like Google Slides, Google Sheets. So they all share the same storage space. And you can access Google Docs through your computer or on an app on your smartphone or tablet. And you might be asking, why would you want to use a, a Google Docs? So if you are going to school and you have like a, an assignment where you have to write an essay, then you could use Google Docs to kind of write your essay and kind of save it in a, like a format and you can submit it to your teacher. If you're not going to school, you can still use Google Docs as well too. So you could use Google Docs to, let's say you have notes that you want to type, you could use Google Docs to type in your notes, or let's say you want to make like a flyer or you have like a garage sale or some kind of flyer that you want to hand out. You use Google Docs to put your information in there. You can format it. You can insert your photos and you could print it out and it, it could be like a nice flyer. So where to get Google Docs? So Google Docs, it is available on, like let's say you use a PC, you use a Mac, you, you go to your favorite like, web browser, you could go there and access Google Docs. Or if you want to access Google Docs on let's say your smartphone or tablet, you could do that as well too. So if you have like an Android device, you have to go to the Google Play Store and you would search for Google Docs. If you have like a iPhone or iPad, you would go to the Apple App Store and you would search for the Google Docs as well too. But for today, I'm gonna to go over how to access Google Docs on a computer. So you would go to your favorite web browser and you will go to either of these uh, links. So you go to google.com slash docs or docs.google.com. You would insert this address into your address bar in your web browser and you should be able to get to Google Docs where you would have to sign into your account. But there are other ways to access as well too. So if you're already on the Google like homepage, there is another way to get to Google Docs as well too. So what is needed? So you need a free Google account. So you can sign up for one if you don't have one, you can sign up for like a Gmail account, you can sign up for, uh, for an account with like an existing email like from Yahoo or Hotmail, or if you have one, you sign in and you have access to this platform. So where is Google Docs stored? So all your uh, Google Docs are stored in your account, in your Google Drive account. So it is kind of like cloud-based. So no files are actually stored on your device. So if you're accessing Google Docs on your laptop or a desktop computer, you have to have like an internet connection, then you're connected to the internet, then you can work on your documents and it's stored in your account. So once it's stored in your account, you could go to a different computer and log into your account and you have access to that document as well too. So it's a little bit different from, let's say you have like a physical 
a Microsoft Word document saved on your desktop, then that's saved on your desktop and not in the cloud. And since it is saved to, to like your Google Drive account, you have the option of downloading your file as well too. You can save it to your device. You can save it to your flash drive. You can save it to your, your desktop computer or you can save it anywhere you want. And you can download it in various uh, formats. Like um, you can download it as a Microsoft Word document. You can download it as a PDF document. And there are many other options as well too. And you have the option of sharing your file with others as well too. Since Google Docs is kind of web-based, you can share it with like your colleagues, your friends, your family members. You have them view it. You have them kind of make changes. So I will go over that today as well. So Google Docs on computer. You will go to google.com slash docs or docs.google.com. And I'm gonna go to my web browser right now and show you how to access that. So I mentioned earlier, you could uh, go to either of those links and you should be able to log into your Google Docs uh, account. But if you're already on the Google homepage, you can access Google Docs there as well too. So you would have to go to the far right-hand corner of, of the page and you can locate this section right here. So if you're already signed into your Google account, you should see like the first initial of your name. So this is an indication that you are already signed into your account. And once you're signed in, you will go to this icon right here. It kind of looks like a, kind of like nine dots and it's located in the far right-hand corner of the page. So you would click on that. And once you click on that, kind of like a screen should pop up and these are all your options. So you would scroll down and you locate Google Docs, which is right here. So Google Docs, the icon is kind of like a blue, like a sheet of paper with some kind of writing on it. So you would locate this and you would click on that and it should bring you to Google Docs. And if you're not signed in yet, once you click that icon, it will bring you to the sign-in page where you enter in your email address and your password. And once you do that, you should be signed in and you should see the screen right here, right now. So we're not technically in a document yet, but we're at the first page of the document. So here there are a, a couple of options. So the first thing you should uh, look at is on the left-hand side of your screen, you should see this option right here. It kind of looks like a plus and it's in a, like a rainbow color. So this option is the blank option where you will click on this and you could create a new uh, Google, blank Google document. And to the side of this option, these are all like the pre-made like Google Docs. So if you're in a hurry or you don't have like an idea about where to start, you could use any of these uh, templates right here. So this is the template gallery. So I'm gonna click on this link right here on the far right hand side and it's gonna expand the template gallery. So these are like the, all the pre-made like Google documents that you could use and you could insert your own information, you could delete information and you could have like a fairly nice document to use. So I'm gonna scroll to this. So like right here, if you wanna work on a resume, these are kind of like all the pre-made resumes here already. So you could just click on any of these and if you can see, some kind of information is already filled out. So all you have to do is click on it. You'll get into the Google Docs and you insert your own information. Like for example, right here, it says your name. You just delete this and you type in your name and you have like uh, already made like a resume where you insert your like work experience. And if you scroll down, there's more options. There's like letter options right here. There are like personal options right here. There are work options, meeting notes, sales, like legal documents, human resources. So there are quite a few pre-made like uh, documents here where you could use and you can insert your own information to, to make it your own. So I'm gonna scroll back up and I'm gonna go back to the previous page, which I'm gonna locate the arrow right here on the top left-hand corner. Okay, so I'm now back to the, the previous page and we went over the template gallery and we went over how to create like a new blank document. But I'm gonna go over what is near the bottom here as well. So right here in this section right here, I'm pointing to it with my mouse. These are all your previous Google Docs. So if you have created any previous Google Docs, it's gonna live here. And you can kind of arrange it uh, the way you like. So right now I have it arranged like the, the most recent documents are here and yesterday's documents right here. And if I scroll down more, 
These are like the early documents. But if you don't like this view, you would go to the right hand corner of the page and you look for this icon right here. It kind of looks like a square with kind of lines in it. This is the grid view option. So if you click on this option right here, it's going to change the view. So right now, all my documents are still here, but then I'm not just viewing the name of the documents. I'm viewing the name of the documents and I have a preview about what the document looks like. So this kind of looks like there's words in here. This is like a blank document. And this is like an essay right here. So if you prefer this view, great. You could select the option. If not, if you want to go back to the previous option of viewing, uh, you would go back to here on the right-hand side. You look for the square. This is going to bring you back to the list view option and you're going to click on that. And it's going to bring you back to this view right here. So right here, you see like the title of your document, who owns the document. So in the middle right here, it says me. So I own this document, but uh, I mentioned sharing before. If someone uh, shares their Google Docs with you and you open it within your account, it will show up on this list as well. And it's going to indicate that it's not owned by you. It's going to owned by some owned by someone else. And their name is going to be here as well too. And if you look to the right here, it says last opened by me. So it's going to let you know when was this document opened. And that's kind of how you kind of see like, oh, I opened this document like right now, 1046, or I opened this at 931, or the previous document right here, I opened this on June 21st. So that's how you tell when was the document opened. And I'm, I'm going to scroll down right here. And I mentioned sharing earlier before. So right here on your screen on the left-hand side, there is the title of the document right here. And if you look to the right, you should see this icon right here. It kind of looks like two people. So not all of my files have this icon, only this file right here and this file right here. So this is an indication that this file is shared. So if you see this icon next to the title of your document, it means it is shared with someone or someone has shared it with you. So since this document is mine, it's owned by me, and there is a share icon right here, I have shared this um, Google Docs with someone else. And that's how you would tell that uh, this document is shared and it's not only viewed by you. Like for documents right here on the bottom, there's no icon right here. So it means that these documents are not shared and they are only viewed by you, the owner. And I would like to also mention, uh, since Google Docs, uh, they kind of have their own format or like own, own kind of platform. So once you create a new Google Docs, it's kind of in the Google Docs format. But if you've used, let's say Microsoft Word and you have like uh, information within a Microsoft Word file and you want to upload that Word file to Google Docs, which is possible. And once you upload it, it's going to show like right here on the left-hand side. So all of these icons, kind of like a bluish box with lines in it, these are like the Google Docs format. But if you have a, a Microsoft Word doc, then you upload it, it's going to be like a W right here. So this is going to let you know that this is a Microsoft Word file and you can still edit it within Google Docs as well too. Okay, so I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to go to a Google Doc. So I already created kind of like a Google Doc already. So I'm going to make edits to it and it is right here. So I have one, it's a study on puppies. And I'm going to click on this title right here with my mouse. OK, so now I'm in my Google Docs. So if you created a brand new blank Google Doc, you shouldn't be seeing any information on here. So this, this all should be blank. I'm pointing to my screen right now. This all should be blank, and you should be starting from scratch. But since I'm, I've um, included some information on here, then I'm not starting from scratch. So the first thing you should do is you should give your Google Docs a title. So to do that, you would go to the top left-hand corner of your screen and you will look for this section right here. Usually if it's a brand new document, it should say untitled, but I already gave it a title. I'm gonna change it right now. So I'm gonna use my mouse. I'm gonna click anywhere within the section right here on the top left-hand corner. And I'm gonna use my mouse and I'm gonna erase it. And I'm gonna name it sample documents. And once you have named your document and you like the title, all you have to do is hit enter or click anywhere outside of this box and the title is gonna be saved. So now I have a title to my document. And like I mentioned earlier, this is kind of saved to your uh, Google account. So it's kind of saved to the cloud. 
And there's an indication right here. So if you look to the right, you should see uh, like a cloud icon. Let me try to make the screen a little bit bigger. Okay. So right here, you should see a cloud icon right here. So if you click on it, it should give you this screen right here. It says all changes saved to drive. So you know that uh, your changes have been saved. So you don't have to worry about like clicking save manually. It's all going to be automatically saved to your account. Okay, so now you know kind of like the status of your document. And if you go to the middle of the page right here, you should see kind of this message right here. It says last edit was two hours ago. So whenever you make an edit to your Google Docs, it's gonna let you know that when was the edit. So if I type something here, you notice that right here, this changed. So it says last edit was seconds ago. So this is kind of like an indication uh, it lets you know that when was the changes made. So right now on my screen is kind of um, like the font is kind of small. So on your keyboard, you should look for con control if you're using like a, like Windows a device, control, and then you look for the plus sign. So usually the plus sign is near the top of the keyboard near the right hand side, near the middle. And once I do that, I click control and plus, it's gonna increase the size of my view. So I'm gonna go to say, this, I think this is, this is about 175%. So now your screen should be a little bit better. So now once you're in a Google Docs, you wanna like insert your information. So in the body of the page right here, it should be blank, but you can insert all your information right here. You can type in your information, you can type in your paragraphs, you can insert like photos. I already have some information inserted right here already. So I have, let's say a title right here near the top. I'm using my mouse and highlighting it. This could be my title and this could be like my paragraph. So once you type in your title, notice that it's on the left side and you might wanna have your title like in the middle. So you will wanna change this. So you use your mouse, you click anywhere within here and then you just use it to highlight your title and you will look for the option of kind of shifting it to, to the middle. So near the top right here, you should see these options right here. So you have file, you have edit, you have view, insert. So anything you wanna do to your Google Docs, the options are gonna live in any of these options right here. And if you look below that right here, this is kind of like the, all the options that uh, are most commonly used. So uh, if you wanna do anything to your uh, Google Docs, these are like the commonly used options. So like right here, you have undo, you have redo on the left-hand side of your screen. It kind of looks like an arrow pointing left or arrow pointing right. And if you go further down, these are all your other options as well too. So the option I was uh, talking about before, I'm gonna change like uh, this to the middle. I'm gonna look for the more option right here. And let me make the screen bigger. So if you don't see the options, you should go to the far right-hand corner of the page. You'll look for the three dots, which is right here. And this is the more option. So it really depends on the size of your screen and how you're viewing your screen. So I'm viewing this at like 150%, so I'm not seeing all the options. So I'll look for this icon right here, more. I'll click on that. And it's going to display all the other options that I might use to kind of edit certain elements within my Google Doc. So like I said earlier, I wanna move this to the middle since this is kind of like the title of my, my documents. So I'll look for these options right here. So it kind of looks like uh, certain lines that are like uh, at, at different lengths. So if you hover over any of these options, it'll give you like a name of the option. So right now it says left align, center align, right align. So for certain things, you might wanna have it like left align or right align. So for the title, I want it to be in the middle. So I would choose center align right here. And if you prefer, you don't want to click on it, there are shortcuts to this as well too. And I'm hovering over this option right here. It says center align, but notice afterwards, it says control CTRL plus shift plus E. So these are all the options on your keyboard. So if you prefer to do the shortcut, you will locate the control option and you will click on that with your finger 
and you will locate the shift option and you will locate the E option. You would hit all of these at the same time. And it, this is kind of like the shortcut and it'll align your word to the center. So I'm gonna click on it right here. So notice that my title has changed from left align to kind of middle align. So it's not very obvious since the screen is a little bit bigger, but this is the middle of my Google document. So now okay. I have aligned this to the middle. Okay, so this should look a little bit better. So this is kind of more obvious. So it is in the middle. So now I've aligned this to the middle. Okay, so the next thing is, let's say you type in your information and this is your paragraph right here. And this is your second paragraph. So notice that uh, there's kind of no space before the paragraph. Usually you wanna have like a indentation. So you just go to your keyboard, uh, choose tab, and it will bring this over to right here. And notice that right here, that changed. So I'm gonna undo it. You can do this manually on Google Docs as well too. You just use your mouse, you go to this bar right here near top, first line indent, and you click on this line right here. And you move it to right here. And to, to do this, make sure that your mouse is at the selected point. So I've selected this option right here. I'm gonna undo. So I inserted my mouse right here. I clicked right here. So this is my cursor and I'll use this. I drag it right here. So the reason you would do this is, let's say you want more space or you think it looks a little bit better right here. So you just adjust it manually as you would like. And of course you could do this uh, the other way as well too. You could just click on right here and you could locate the tab option on your keyboard and you would just do that and it will just move that to that location. Okay. So now you have a title, you have kind of like two paragraphs and you wanna make some changes. So let's say I wanna make some changes to this paragraph right here. I'll use my mouse, I'll click on uh, right before the at, I'll click on it, I'll select this paragraph. Then I'll release my mouse and that paragraph is selected. So I'll go to my toolbar right here and I'll select some of these options. So right now the default font is Arial. So I'll click on anywhere in the box right here. I'll click like that and more options should appear and you could change the font of your words. So you could choose a font that you think looks better or if it's your needs. So let's say I'll choose, I'll choose the lobster option. Okay, so I've selected that. So now my font has changed for only the selected area. You could do this as much as you want. You could change it to the title as well too. So the title is right here. I'll use my mouse. I'll select this line right here. And it's already at Arial. I'll select that. I'll change it to a different font. I'll change it to Comic Scans, Sans. And that changed the font right here as well too. And let's say I don't like size of this. So I'll select this option right here. Now I'll go back to my toolbar right here. And there's this option right here of size near the middle top part. So there is like a minus sign and there's a plus sign and there's like a number in the middle. So you, you could change this either way. You could use your mouse, you click anywhere in the number option and you can manually type in like a size. So I'll type in 26 and I hit enter. And now it changed the size of my title to 26. If you don't wanna manually change it, you can always use the plus or minus sign right here. I'll click on the minus sign with my mouse and it's gonna slowly change the size of one by one. So I'm changing it to let's say 14. And now there's my title, size 14, and everything else is at the regular size of like 11. Okay, so that's how you would change the size of your, let's say line or paragraph. And I'm gonna select the more option right here, which is the three dots near top. And these are the other options as well too. So if you wanna change certain things on your line, you, you could change it to like bold, uh, underline, you could change the color of the font. So all you have to do is select the text with your mouse and you will go to the three dots right here and you will display this line right here in the middle top part of your page and you can select some of these options. And like I mentioned earlier, if you don't know what the options are, you use your mouse, you hover over them and it will 
to let you know what's the option, like bold, underline. So let's say I want bold. And let's say I don't like the color right now. I'll change the color to something else. I'll hover over right here to the letter A, which is an indication of text color. And near the bottom right here, the default is black. So I'll click on this right here. And once I click on the A, a new option should pop up. And these are all the color options. So let's say I want, let's say I want orange. So it's like orange. And now my font is changed and it's changed to orange color. And I'm gonna select some of the other options as well too. So let's say you have like a long a Google Doc and there are certain parts where are important and you wanna kind of highlight that. So if this is kind of like a physical paper, you have certain parts, you would use like a highlighter and Google Docs has the highlighter option as well too. So let's say, I think that this, this line is very important right here. So I've selected this line with my mouse I clicked on here, I dragged it over for the entire sentence, and this is kind of selected. So you, you can kind of tell that it is selected because it's kind of shaded in a, like a different color. So once this is shaded, I'll go back to right here, in my toolbar of options, and I'll select the highlight option. So it kind of looks like a highlighter. So I'll select here, I'll click on that, and it's gonna give me the color of the highlight option. So I'll select, let's say purple. So I'll select that. So now I'm going back to the main page of my Google Doc. I'll select somewhere else. And the line that I selected earlier, it's highlighted in purple. So this is a good way of kind of bringing attention to like certain parts of your Google Docs. To say you have like a long Google Doc, you could kind of use this to point out like important options. So readers could kind of jump to this part as well. Okay, so that's how you use the highlight option. So the next option is the comment option. So like I mentioned earlier, um, Google Docs is kind of like web-based. So it's in your Google Drive account and you have the option of sharing it with someone. So let's say I, I want to comment on certain parts of my the Google Doc. So let's say I don't want, I don't like the title right here. So I will select this option right here with my mouse. Now locate the comment option right here. So it's in the toolbar, it kind of looks like a square box with like a plus sign in it. So I'll click anywhere in here. And notice that once I clicked on that, uh, the page kind of shifted to the left and I have this screen right here. So you could add comments, uh, other people could add comments and you could view those comments all at once. So I'll locate the box right here, the comment box near the right hand side. I'll type in, I don't, like this title. After I type it in in the box right here, I'll locate the comment box right here near the bottom left. It's kind of kind of like a bluish box and I'll click on it with my mouse. And now I've commented this title right here. It's kind of shaded right here. And if you don't click on any of anywhere inside here, the comment option right here, you won't see the comment. But if you, you click anywhere inside here, comment should appear on the right-hand side of your screen. So the comments right here. So I don't like this title. And if I click somewhere else, at the comment, it's still there, but it's just not gonna kind of highlight on your screen. And notice that the comment, there is an option right here. There is like a check mark right here. So you could have like a lot of comments within your Google Docs and uh, let's say you don't want to make a change or you, you do want to make a change and it, it is a shared document. So you can mark right here, marked as resolved and then it's going to disappear. So it, it means that the comment was placed by someone and someone looked at it and then someone thought that it was okay or it was changed and it's resolved and it's going to disappear. So that's how you would add a comment to like certain parts of your Google Doc. I'm going to select that as well too. And I'm going to go back to the options right here. So you've looked at uh, add comments. You've looked at kind of how to align like certain parts of your Google Doc. And next, I'm going to go over spacing. So if you're doing like a paper, uh, your teacher might uh, require you to have like certain spacing. You have like double space, single space. So let's say for this paragraph right here, I want to change the spacing. So I'll use my mouse. I'll select this paragraph right here. And I'll go back to the three dots right here near the top right-hand side of your screen. I'll click on that. 
it's going to display so all these options right here. And I'll look for line spacing, which is right here. You're kind of near the middle ish of your screen. It's kind of indicated by like three lines and an arrow pointing up and down. So I'll use my mouse. I'll click anywhere within this option right here. And it's going to display the options. So right now, the spacing is 1.5. So you can have single space, you have double space. So it really depends on what your needs are. If you want to cram more information on your on your page, you might want to do single space. If you have like a requirement to do double space, you can do that as well too. So I'll select single space right here with my mouse. So now the spacing has changed. So this paragraph right here, all the spacing, it is single space. But notice that since I changed this, um, the next line right here, paragraph two, it's very close to my first paragraph. And I don't like that. So maybe I want like a lot, like a kind of like space in between right here. So you could either use your mouse and click on right here and you hit enter and it will create like a new space right here. But mm, that doesn't look very good. So I'll use my backspace, my keyboard, I'll go back. And my mouse is right here. I'll go back to my line sp spacing option right here near the top of the middle of the screen. I'll click on that. And there are these options right here. So add space before paragraph, add space after paragraph. So I want to add like a space after this paragraph. So there's a space between paragraph and the next title. So I'll click on this option right here. And that's going to add it right here. And I, I don't want that. So I'm going to undo. I'll go back right here. And I'm going to select this option right here, add space after paragraph. So now I've selected that option and it added a space right here. So it's not like a manual add. So you can't really click on the space in between and add like words. It's just a space between the first paragraph and the, the second line. So now I have a space right here. So now you kind of know how to add, like change the spacing within your Google Doc. And let's say you want to make a list within your Google, like a bullet points. So I'm going to go to the end of the doc right here. I'm going to type something new and say puppies. So I'm typing in some words right here. So let's say I want like bullet points. So I will use my mouse. I'll select these three lines right here. I'll go back to the three dots right here. I'll click on this. It's going to display all these options right here. And I'm going to locate one of these options right here. So the bullet list option is right here. It's going to indicate it by three lines, like, like three circles. Or if I want like a numbered list, I'll use this option right here. So let's say I want a numbered list. So I'll select right here. And it's going to add like the numbered list option to my list right here. But let's say I don't like how it looks. I'll go back to here, near top, middle. And there is a triangle kind of to the right of the, like, the icon, I'll click on that, and it's gonna give me more options right here. So you could kind of de decide what kind of format you want. Let's say I want this option right here. So it, it's like one, two, three, or if I go back, I'll change it to this, so one, two, three. So it really depends on what you think looks good for your Google Doc. And that is how you kind of add like a list or like a numbered list or like a bulleted list to your the Google Doc. Okay, so that is how you would do that. So now that you have information on your Google Doc, you might uh, want like a page number. So you might have, let's say 10 pages or 20 pages, and it's kind of difficult to like view which page you're at because there's no number here. So you, you might want to insert the page number near top, like in the header field. So you would go to your options right here near top left hand side, these are all your options. You will locate the insert option right here. So insert is right here. I'll click on this. And I will scroll down. And these are all the options of kind of inserting things into your Google Docs. So let's say I want page numbers. So I'll go to insert. I'll locate page numbers right here on the screen. I'm pointing to it with my mouse. And I will hover over here. And these are all the page number options. So let's say you have like, uh, like a title page. So the title page is where you have your title, your name, 
and like if you're going to school or the organization you work for, you have the name of that as well. So you wouldn't want to name or give like a number to that page. So you select this option right here. So on your screen, this option is it's going to name your pages from your second page with page one. Or if you want page one, you select this option right here. I'll select this. And notice that on the right hand side of your screen right now, there's a number one right here. So it inserted a page number right here. So number one, and this is kind of like the, the header field of your the Google Docs. So if you're happy with this, you click anywhere outside and, it, and it's gonna stay there. And I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna insert more information. So I don't have one page, so I'm gonna go to the second page. So right here, it's automatic. So there is page two right here. So you will keep on like inserting your information. You can have like 10 pages or 20 pages and the number would still appear right here on the top right hand corner of your screen. So that is how you would insert um, the page number to your Google Doc. So next I'm gonna go over how to insert an image to your the Google Doc. So sometimes you have like a lot of words in your Google Doc and it, it might be a lot. So you might wanna insert like an image to kind of make a point. So I'm gonna select somewhere right here. So let's say I want to insert an image right here in between. So you have a couple of options of kind of how to insert your image. You could go to here, locate the three dots right here near the top right-hand corner of your page, click on that, and it will display all these options right here. You will locate the insert image option right here near the middle kind of top left-hand corner. It's kind of indicated by like a square with kind of like a mountains in it. So this is the insert image option. So you will click anywhere within here and it will display all the options. So you can insert your images from your computer. You can insert images from the web. Uh, since a Google Docs is a part of your Google Drive account, you might have certain photos within your Google Drive. You can insert uh, images from your Google Drive account here as well too. And Google Photos is, is kind of like another platform within the, the Google Suite. You might have photos in there as well too. You can insert uh, images from Google Photos or if you find like a photo on the internet and there's like a certain website with a photo and you have the URL, you can use the URL option here as well too. And if you have a camera on your device, then you could use the camera option right here. And you can kind of take a photo of yourself or you can take a photo of a document and you can insert the image into your Google Doc like that as well too. So for exa the example for the, today's class, I'm gonna use search the web, which is right here, the second option. So I'm gonna click on this right here. And it's kind of indicated by like a magnifying glass to the left. I'll click on that. And once I click on that, on the right hand side of your page, this kind of section should pop up and you should have like a search box near the top. It says search for images right here. So you would type in like what you wanna look for. Let's say I want the, the puppies. So I'll type in puppies and I'll hit enter. And it's gonna search the Google images and it's gonna find all the images for puppies. Then I'm gonna choose one of these. So let's say I want, I want this photo right here. So I will use my mouse and I'll click on it. And once you select the photo right here, it's gonna be like indication your top left hand corner of the photo. There's gonna be like a check mark right here. And it's gonna tell you that this photo is already selected. And you have the option of kind of adding more than one image. So let's say I want this image right here as well. I'll select that as well. So there's a check mark right here as, to, as well. And on the bottom right hand corner of your screen, it says two selected. So I'm going to insert one more image. So right here, so three images. So I've selected three images. There is a check mark near the top left hand corner of the screen and it says three selected right here. And I'm going to select insert right here on the bottom right hand corner. So now it has uh, inserted the three images into my Google Doc. And notice that the image is kind of very big. So I'm, I might want to resize it. So I'll click anywhere within the image. And once you do that, uh, it will kind of indicate that it is selected. You could tell by there's kind of like square dots on the corner and the middle. And this kind of the indication that this image is selected and you could resize it. So all I have to do is go to the let's say bottom right hand corner, I'll locate this 
square box right here. It's kind of bluish. You use my mouse, I'll click on it, and I'm going to resize it. I'll make it a little bit smaller. So I made this image uh, smaller. And let's say you don't like this image right here. So you might want to align it to the middle. So this works the same way as, let, let's say you want to align like your title, which I did before. So I'll select the image with my mouse right here. I'll go back to the options right here near the middle. I will look for the three dots. And let's see. And the align option is actually right here. So it's kind of like uh, indicated by like the lines right here. I'll click on that. It's gonna show me more options. So I'm gonna align it to the middle. So the center align. So now this image is aligned to the center. And that's how you kind of resize your image and align your image to a place where you think looks good. Okay, so that's how you insert a, a image into your Google Doc. So the next option I'm gonna go over is some of the tools. So if you locate the, the bar right here, you look for tools, these are kind of all like the tools that are available to you. So if you have like a long document and you want to double check your spelling, you would select spelling and grammar right here and it's going to go over your document. And it's going to give you like suggestions on, oh, you should change this or you misspelled this. Or if you want to count how many words you have on your document. But sometimes you have an assignment, you need to have at least like 500 words or 1000 words. You use the word count here as well too. So I will select that. And once you select word count, it's going to let you know there's three pages to this document. There are 244 words. There are 1,388 characters. And there are 1,154 excluding spaces. And once you get this information, you hit OK. And I'm going to go back to the tools option right here. So that's spelling, that's word count. And there's a lot more options here as well, too. But I'm going to sh actually show you how to translate your document. So let's say you have a document and you want to translate it to like a, a different uh, language. So you go to tools, you go to translate document right here, this option, select that. It's going to bring you to this option right here. And it's going to give you the option of renaming your, your document. So once you select the translate document option, it's going to translate all the words within your document, but it's not going to change your like a uh, first document. It's going to make a copy. So you have a copy of your document in like another language and you will still have the original copy of your doc as well too. So that's not gonna change. So this is title translated copy of sample document. And in the middle of the page right here, there's this choose a language option. So I'll select this option right here and I'm gonna change it to a different language. So let's say I want to change this document to French. So I'll select French right here. And once I'm happy with this, uh, I'm happy with the title. I'll select the translate option right here near the middle bottom of the page. And it's kind of like a bluish box. I hit translate. And it's going to translate my document. So right now it created a brand new document within my the Google Drive account. And it translated everything within that document. So that's how you would translate your document into like a different language. So I'm going to go back to my initial document. So to do that, you would go to the top left-hand corner of your screen. You locate the Google Docs icon right here. It kind of looks like a sheet with like, like lines in it. I'll click on that. And it's going to bring you back to this page right here. And I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to locate my previous document. So like I mentioned earlier, this is the original document right here. And since I selected the translate option, it's going to translate everything within the document. It's going to create a brand new document. So you don't have to worry about like um, losing your previous information on your previous document. So I'm going to select this option right here, sample document. And I'm back to my original document. So that's how you would translate uh, your document. And the next option I'm going to go over is the voice typing option. So to, to, if you have like a microphone on your device, like your laptop or your desktop, or you, you plugged in like a microphone, you could use that 
to kind of type your words within the Google Docs, so you don't have to manually type in the words. To do that, you would go to this, the option right here, Tools, and you would select Voice Typing right here. So it's kind of indicated by like a microphone to the left, and you click on that, Voice Typing. So this option is very helpful if you don't want to like physically use your hand to type in words, but then it is not perfect. So uh, sometimes uh, when you're speaking not clearly, it might uh, interpret your word as something else. So it might type in something else as well. And what it doesn't do well is, uh, it doesn't do well to like uh, the end of your sentences. So for example, if you type in a sentence, you will have like a period at the end of your sentence, or you have like a question mark at the end of your sentence. The voice option doesn't really know when you're ending your sentence. So you have to manually say like period or question mark, then it will add that to your document. So I'm gonna show you how that looks like right now. So let's see, I'll move this over. So I do have like a microphone on my laptop right now. I've selected tools, I've selected voice typing. And once you've selected this option, this screen should kind of pop up and there should be like a microphone option right here. So once I click on this, it's gonna activate the voice typing option and it's gonna type in whatever I say. Hello everyone, period. Welcome to Google Docs, period. I am very excited, the question mark. And to end it, you click on anywhere within the microphone and it is going to end it. So right now I said, hello, everyone, welcome to Google Docs. And I had to say period manually for it to type in period. I had to say question mark manually to type in the question mark because it doesn't really know when you want to end your sentence. So this works kind of good, but let's say you want to actually physically type in question mark within your sentence. And if you say question mark, it's not gonna type in the word question mark. It's just gonna give you a question mark. Okay, so that's how you would use the voice uh, typing option here as well. So I'm gonna go over the sharing option here as well too. So to share your document, you have this icon right here near the top right-hand corner of your page. So it kind of looks like a bluish box and you could click on share right now. If you hover over, it says private to me only. But let's say you want to share it with like more people, you will click on this option right here. So once you click on share, you have these options right here. You can add people to your group or you could get a link. The easiest way to share with someone would be to get a link. And the get a link option is on the bottom right here. It says get a link right here and it says restricted. So only people added to can open this link. So, and it says change to anyone with a link. So I'm gonna click on this option right here. And now it created a link to my Google Doc right now. And this is the link right here in the middle of your page. So you could click on copy link and you can share it with anyone you want. So right now I'm gonna select some of the other options. So it says anyone with the link can view this link. And it says viewer right here on the bottom right hand corner. So if you click on viewer right, right here, it's gonna give you more options. Viewer, commenter or editor. So let's say I wanna share it with someone and I want them to add stuff to my Google Doc. So I choose editor right here. So there is the editor option. And now anyone with this link can edit my document right here. So now I'm gonna copy the link right here and I'm gonna hit done. So I'm gonna to go to the chat uh, within Zoom right here and I'm gonna insert the link in the chat. So now I've shared the link in the, in the chat right now. So if you could go to your chat, you would click on the link. You should be able to get into this Google Doc right now. And you could add stuff to this the Google Doc right here. And go ahead and click on the link and you add any line you want. So if you look on your screen right now, to the top right-hand corner of your screen, you should see a number right here and the number it is increasing it is letting me know that how many people are viewing this document and they are adding their information to this document right now. So I have, let's see, I have 11 viewers right now.
So that's how you kind of share a document and you could kind of see like, it's kind of like live. So if you share it with like 10 people or 20 people and they're typing, you could view what, what they're typing live as well too. So I'll type in hello. And if uh, other people are kind of typing and they're not logged into their account, they're gonna have like um, like a name. So like anonymous platypus, um, anonymous like hippo. So if you click on right here, total viewers, you see there's 14 viewers right now. And these are all the people within this uh, Google doc and they can share, they can add their stuff to it, they can make comments. And that's how you would share your document. And if you look right here to the right-hand side of the number of viewers, this is the comment history. So if you click on that, you will view all the comments. So since I'm sharing my document, other people could comment within the Google Docs as well too, and you can view all the comments there as well. And that's how you would share your document. So I know I went over a lot today, so uh, you might want more help within the Google Docs since there, there is a lot of options. So I'm gonna share my screen so if you want more help with Google Docs or any other kind of software, you could go to our main website, sfpo.org. You will locate research and learn right here in the middle of the page. And you will locate e-learning right here on the left-hand side of your page. And you can utilize one of our e-learning platforms. So these are free for use if you have like a library card. If you don't have one yet, you can sign up for one. You could always go to sfpo.org and you can fill out like a library card application and you can sign up for a library card if you meet the requirements. And you could go to, let's say LinkedIn Learning. If you've used, uh, let's say lynda.com before, the name changed to LinkedIn Learning and LinkedIn Learning has like a lot of tutorials on like various subjects and Google Docs is one of them. You go there and you can watch tutorials on how to use Google Docs, certain features. And there are, are like other software programs there as well too. Or you could go, down right here and you can use Udemy, which is a different platform. And they do have like a lot of video tutorials as well too. And the last thing is Gale courses right here. So this is a little bit more structured. It's kind of like non-credit classes on various subjects. And you can go there and take a class on like Microsoft Word, Excel or PowerPoint. Okay, so that is my presentation on Google Docs. I hope it was helpful.